Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Leaf's Animal Farm, where we... <sighs> Already? Well, we're finally making money, <laughs> and we were just in the red for a little bit, but I don't think we are anymore, so that's perfect. Um, everything is going swimmingly. This is my first time back in here since, like, you know, a while. Uh, what's happened since then? We hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. And you guys always seem to make my day. So that is absolutely wonderful to see. So now that we finally have some money, I think, I think it's high time that we do a little bit of a renovation. So once the rain stops, I'm going to pause the time, uh, pop some balloons. Why not? Oh, I love how that sounds. <laughs> and yeah, once it stops raining, we're just going to redo pretty much everything. We're going to move everything away for a little bit. Our main wolf is about to die. That's great. I mean, hey, it's Leaf's Animal Farm. Everything dies eventually, so that's perfect. But um, yeah, we can start to dress this place up a little bit more. Maybe make some improvements, first of all. I feel like that tree just gets in the way, but yeah, I'm just going to fast forward time a little bit more, build up some more money, and we can start to make our improvements for Leaf's Animal Farm, <laughs> but yeah, it's really, I have no idea how we start making money, I forget what the episode's even like, but it's really good to see, so that's awesome to have. In fact, I think I'm actually going to take this time to just train pretty much everyone, our vet can have a little bit more training as well. Just make sure that everyone's going swimmingly. Our keepers too, why not? Just make sure that everyone is all set. And it's raining for a long time, actually. I just want it to stop. I want... I just want to build, bro. Yeah, look at all our animals. So we do have some new ones that we could add in eventually. Um... Let's try and find them all, because I've been hammering them away for, like, Sunday show- I think it's gonna be a Sunday showcase. For example, we have a uh, large white pig, and yeah, that's actually the name of it. We have the miniature donkey, and we have- I think that's pretty much all I did so far. And now it's snowing, of course, so we need to wait for that to end, but I'll tell you what, I'll- Stop talking here, and I'll just let the game run for a little bit, and I'll see you guys in the speed build, actually, our first speed build of the series. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Alright, what is up, guys? It is your good friend, Leaf, once more, back with another Planet Zoo video inside of a Planet Zoo video. Now, you can see right here, we're just going through and we're just, you know, making the staff facilities look nice. Uh, I did have like one big regret when I was going through all of this. Unfortunately, I do not have access to like the African wood. So I wasn't able to recreate like, you know, the original building that was there. But I do opt for like the modern like wood planks. And I think it comes out pretty good. And you know, like it's not, you know, it's not the best building ever. But you know, for challenge mode, I think it fits the build pretty nicely. Like it looks good in the end and that's all that matters you know and of course like it is subdued because it is at the front of the like full zoo and stuff and i didn't really want to bring attention to like all the staff facilities that really wouldn't feel like a focal point of like when you walk into a zoo or at least in most zoos you wouldn't really want that kind of building to be looking good because you know guests would want to go in there and stuff but yeah, just dressing it up with some foliage, which honestly improved it so much. Uh, I really do love like that whole combination of like the cypress trees and like the little bushes in there. And I do end up doing a little bit of interior work, nothing really mind blowing. I, you know, dress it up with some of those panels. I put some like implied staff seating and stuff, which is really weird by the way. Staff don't really sit down on benches. But I feel like they should, you know? Like, back in, like, Zoo Tycoon 2, you would see staff, like, they would only use the benches, and, like, none of your guests would, which is kind of funny. But, yeah, here I am just working on the first 
half of the barn, I guess. Uh, so that path over there will need to be reworked eventually. And I think I'll actually have it just go right through the barn and I can rework the uh, staff uh, walkways after that. But yeah, here I am just essentially setting up the goat enclosure. And I think it came out pretty good. I mean, it is a little bit small. You guys will see that like towards the end where I do complain about myself not giving them enough space. <laughs> but yeah, like just dressing it up, making it look a little bit more natural. I do opt for like, you know, the habitat bedding as well as the, I think that's the mulch floor. Yeah. So I do end up doing that, and I try to copy over, like, I try to take the easy way out and do the, uh, like, green metal shade structures, but I eventually, I eventually do go for, like, a nice little barn look, and I think it looks, like, ten times better. And so right here, I'm just dressing up, like, the exterior of the barn, I just try and, like, you know, make it flow with the rest of the staff exhibits as good as possible. And I think in the end, like, you know, it's not your classic, stereotypical big red barn, but... It gets the job done, you know? I think it's perfect for Leaf's Animal Farm, especially because, you know, it's... <laughs> it's a little bit of a shit show. But yeah, here I am just making sure that the interior at least looks passable. I mean, I know I called it, like, jaw-dropping or something, like, later on, but I think it actually does turn out pretty good for, you know, what it was before. So yeah, it's just essentially just working on that, and I was already like, oh, well, one half of the barn is, like, for goats, what should I make the other half for? And since the llamas actually use the alpacas as enrichment, like, interspecies enrichment, I decide to, um... Yeah, I actually decided to put them in the same enclosure, and I thought, you know, why not just put those, like, North American cameloids in the same enclosure, because, you know, it works that way, you know? I put some of the, uh, conservation boards right there just because it was looking a little uneven, and I opt for, like, I don't know, I, yeah, I do put a sign right there, and it's like... I forget what it says, but I guess we'll find out, like, eventually. <laughs> the barn, yeah, that's perfect. What what a hell of a name. <laughs> I guess I just really wanted this to be built on. <laughs> so, yeah, it looks really nice. It's big. It's perfect for this. It's a nice, like, open opening exhibit, I guess you could call it. And I think I will want to do another barn for, like, the cows. I might throw in some pigs, too, because, you know, at this point... I do have, like, a ton of more farm animals done, because me and Nick are working on, like, a unofficial farm pack, and I think we might even have a trailer for it soon, once I, uh, port over his... I think the only things we have to do are his horse. Yeah, just a horse, and then that's it. We'll have our mini... not even mini, this is bigger than, like, an animal pack. We'll have our unofficial animal pack for uh, farm animals, so that's going to be great, so keep an eye out for that, and yeah, it's just, I guess we're ending the end of this, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it, um, I'm trying to think of other things to say, <laughs> just like keep an eye out for more farm animals and like for the farm pack going forward, because I think we are ending like, you know, the tail end of it, so hopefully we can get some of that stuff out as soon as possible. And you guys can start, you know, making your own farms. Actually, we did just crack um, NDP and Nick did just crack custom scenery. And so that will be out very soon as well. I'm not sure if we'll include any, like, barn scenery going forward, but it'll be something to look out for. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the live portion of this. And I will actually, yeah, I think I'm going to be taking my leave. And I'm going to draw this out as long as possible because, you know, I need to fill up this time. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the live portion. All right, guys, well, welcome back. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the speed build. I don't know if I'm going to be talking during it or if I'm just going to play some music. But look at what we came up with. I mean, I mean, I really wanted to get to, like, the whole zoo, but, like... It's, it's probably going to be split up into two, maybe even three episodes. I'm not really too sure yet. But we basically got rid of all the llama stuff. We redid the goats. We 
added a new pen for the goats, actually. They're right over here. And yeah, people seem to like it. I mean, the animal exhibits, they seem to be eh, just a little too small, but, you know, it's... I can fix it a little bit. But we have this whole barn interior, which is absolutely striking. You can walk in here, you can walk into the little barns, you can see the little baby goats. And yeah, they seem to be loving it, and guests seem to love it too, which is always awesome. We have little baby llamas for all the guests to look at. And I actually threw in some alpacas as well, just because, you know, I can't go a single episode without throwing in some more animals, so yeah. Uh, plans for the next one? Oh, we also did this whole stuff. <laughs> we did a whole staff building, which, you know, I kind of dressed it up in here. Had some places for them to sit, even though they don't really sit. But yeah, we have all the essentials, which is perfect. I mean, no one's really using it right now, which, you know, it kind of, well, good thing our mechanic is, but... Yeah, here we are. Any, like, last-minute things I need to do before we go? It'd be awesome to get that stuff done. The main wolf is going swimmingly. And speaking of swimmingly, we're gonna try and unlock aquatic theme stuff. But yeah. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know it's not as chaotic as it normally is. But you know, it's just another normal day at Leeds Animal Farm. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care.